Hello everyone. So I am on my way to a world premiere. No. How do you say it? Premiere. To a world premiere. I'm going up to London to walk down the red carpet to watch World War Z with Brad Pitt and Angelina. You know Brad and Angelina? A few mates of mine. They're uh, fucking parking sensor beeps. So they're like, Joe, come along. You're, you're my favorite person ever. I was like, well, guys, you know, I'm sort of busy, but they're like, oh, please come along to the world, the world premiere. For a premiere. And so I thought, you know what? I do owe Brad and Angelina a favor, so I thought I'd go along. I'm a little bit concerned you can see my nipples through this shirt. Don't know if you can see that on there. It's not even cold. Okay, so this is officially the coolest lift in the world. Look at this. I feel like I'm in a nightclub. Right, so I have arrived at the Trafalgar Hotel in Trafalgar. That telly was on when I got here, so I walked in and I thought, oh god, I've gone in the wrong person's room. The le bathroom? I have a shower. Oh, that is glass. <laughs> Typical Joe Sarg. I've only brought one shoe. <sighs> Do you think they let me down the red carpet with only one shoe, guys? Bloody hell. Oh, there's the other one. I'm thinking about just wearing this to the premiere. I'm just a bit worried that I'm gonna show Brad Pitt up, do you know what I mean? Like, what if he's wearing the same outfit as me? This could be, this could be disastrous. Sorry, I don't, I don't actually own a really, really posh suit, so I'm just going with the usual, like, smartest shirt, blazer, brown belt, brown shoes. We are here, I'm now with Katie. Uh, hello. I did get lost for a little bit, but we're alright now. We found their place. <laughs> that thing's really annoying me. <laughs> we have got the tickets. <laughs> we shouldn't say it too loud, should we? we might get mugged. <laughs> I'm thinking of going down the red carpet with this. I'm putting Katie in that, and we ain't down the red carpet. <laughs> I honestly think we should do that. That'd be cool. It's not a red carpet. It's a it's black. A, it's a black and white carpet. It's crazy. Um, there's lots and lots of pretty people everywhere. Oh, there's Brad Pitt. There's Bradley Pitt. Watch news round when you're younger, you will know who that is. <laughs> so, I really want to do like a, a roly poly or something down the red carpet or like a handstand maybe. Man and producer Brad Pitt. What do you think is so appealing to? I'm joined now yeah, by Ludi Bokin, who plays Jürgen Wambrom in the film. Tell us a bit about this character and how yeah, he fits into the story. Don't spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Take selfies. Take selfies <laughs> on the back and they're supposed to be more. <laughs> You are very, very tall. I just found a lady who has earrings that are bigger than me. What look at this. Look at the size of those earrings. They are massive, aren't they? Crazy. The cinema where I live is like sticky floor, like everything like that. This is gonna, yeah. I think this might be a little bit better somehow. Oh look, marble wall. I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna touch it. It's marble. It's marble. Well, that was pretty darn good, I thought. What do you think? Katie hardly saw any of it because the whole time I looked around, she was like this, hiding. Bradley himself said that it was, um, what's the word? Intense. And I think it was really, really intense. So we've now been whisked onto a coach. Rather snazzy coach as well. Check this out. Uh, we're off to go and see Muse play. 
da, 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 da. So we're going over there to watch Muse play. I, I take it that's where they're playing. I don't know whether that's like a group of people waiting to watch Muse or a massive group of zombies. <laughs> zombies! <laughs> Back in our seat, ready to watch the news. Me and Katie are ready for some head, is it what's called? Head moshing. Head moshing. battery died yesterday um, after the Muse concert, like during the last song, which is really annoying, but the premiere was awesome. Um, and yeah, Muse is great as well. So all in all, it's been a, it was a great, great day. Goodbye room. It's been an adventure. I will always remember you, especially you TV, and wherever you were. I'm quite scared. I think I'm, getting, I'm probably gonna get run over by the car. <laughs> London's big and scary. So I'm now back home, I've had an absolutely amazing weekend, I've done things that I never thought I'd be able to do, I've, I've walked down a, well, red carpet, and watching Muse play live was also amazing. Oh, but before I go, I know you're all thinking, Joe, what is that thing coming off your shoulder? Well, it's one of these. It's what everyone needs in a zombie apocalypse, it's a World War Z survival pack. Inside, there is things that you need in case of a zombie apocalypse. World War Z glow sticks. I think you got a snapper, man. There we go. A water bottle. Another glow stick. You just get one glow stick, you get two. A headlamp, a hand warmer. And a hammock. I am so gonna put this in the garden. So if you want a chance to win all this cool stuff in this neat little bag, then all you have to do is answer this very simple question in the comments below. Who is Brad Pitt's wife? E.g. other half, you know, bit of stuff. Is it A, Angelina Jolie, <coughs> B, Mila Kunis, or C, my nan? Yeah, leave a comment below, A, B, or C, with your answer. I'm gonna send this off to one of you lucky people. Bye! Uh, I think about halfway through, I'm not sure. But it is literally crazy. I'm absolutely rubbish. Dad! Can I put this hammock up in the garden?